Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. In this video, I want to show you how to put hooks on the ends of bungee cord. This tutorial is designed to show you how to use our own product, but it should work with any bungee cord stock and hooks. There's a couple reasons you might want to do this. The first is that the bungee cords you buy in stores are not always the best quality. It's just hard to know what you're getting. And the other is that you can make your own custom lengths when you make them yourself. So with that, let's dive in. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to put these metal hooks on the end of bungee cords. That's what you're gonna see on most in the stores, but we do have a lot of plastic options for various uses in our store, and we'll show those at the end of the video. But in addition to these, you're just gonna need some bungee cord, some hog rings ideally, and then a pliers or hog ring pliers. I'll show you how to use both. If you don't have hog rings, you can tie knots in the end, but you're not gonna get as good of a result since knots don't hold very well in bungee cord. Hog rings are essentially a rounded staple that we're gonna clamp around the bungee cord to keep it from pulling through the hooks. They often come in a strip like this and they have a lot of different industrial applications. So to start off, we'll take our bungee cord and decide on the length that we want our finished cord to be. So I'm just gonna measure it out on my mat here at three feet. And I'm just gonna add a couple inches to that so we have some room to double over on the ends. Cut that at your length. And then to keep it from fraying, we just want to take a lighter, um, bigger the better on these ones, and melt that outer sheath just to keep it from fraying. And then we'll take one of our hooks and put the cord up through the bottom. It is a tight fit, but that's how it's supposed to be. So it might just take a little bit of work to get through. Slide that down and we'll take our end and a single hog ring just hook it around, bend that cord over, and slide it into the hog ring right alongside the other end there. Then we'll take those hog ring pliers and facing the staple away from the pliers, we'll just set it right in those grooves and clamp it down. A successful clamp will look like this, with our ends touching or overlapping. So now, when we pull our hook back to the end, that doubled up portion won't fit through the hole. Now we'll do the other end, using a regular pliers, since most of us aren't gonna have a hog ring pliers laying around. Again, fit it through the end. set it up just like before. And then taking our pliers, we're just gonna gently pinch it the same way that we did with the other hog ring pliers. We don't wanna go quite as far. Having that hog ring facing out, pinch them gently there. And you just wanna watch out for this back end kinking. We'll just kind of work it closed gradually. the result should be about the same. There we go, a little less pretty, but still just as functional. And with that, you have your own custom bungee cord. So that's how to make a custom bungee cord with our metal hooks. Here's some other plastic hardware that we have for various purposes. So the first style is this top row here. All the hooks have an opening on the bottom to insert the cord and then a sleeve to go around the outside of it that holds it in place. There's a few different hook styles. There's a closed hook, an open hook, one that attaches to webbing, and also this one where you can screw it onto a hard surface, like a kayak, for instance. There's also this one that secures the cord with a simple closing of the tab. This one that just has a hole, you can tie a knot or secure the end in other ways. This one also works good for paracord. And lastly, there's this jumbo hook. This works best with 5 16 cord and doesn't require any kind of knot tying or hog rings to secure the end. Bungee cord can be used in endless ways, and I hope that after watching this video, you're ready to tackle making your own. You can check these products out in our store. We'll put links in the description. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.